Good good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video because I felt really bad about the rant video that's going out. Um, it's about the copyrighted sounds and stuff like that. It's, it's about the whole copyrights that are going on. And I'm, I'm not making this video about it, but I am making you a second video about Lumber Tycoon 2 just because I felt bad about spending all 30 minutes in a complete rant. So, gameplay video. Tonight, we're going to go over um, to the Palm Island. I want to walk over there. Um, I just want to see if the sound is still there. Oh God, I'm still talking about copyrights. Um, but that's, that's what this video is about. So, if you're new to this channel, like, comment, subscribe, comment, all those good things. It helps out the channel itself, and uh, it's really your choice if you want to go for it. If not, you know, you know the drill. <sighs> but I am still a Lumber Tycoon 2 advocate. I'm still a copyrights person advocate. I want to stand up for the rights of the YouTuber content, and I want to stand up for the rights of the Roblox content, and all these companies are making it really hard, especially for kids who have nothing but creative minds and want to create and make and do and... <sighs> I think it's amazing what you guys come up with. Your minds are just brilliant. What is that? What is that sound? That's not good. What in the world? Oh, this guy's cheating. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It's the first time I've seen this exploit. That is crazy. Are you a cheater? <laughs> no, that's not cheating. That's called exploits. This is a form of cheating. <laughs> uh, I've got an axe on me right now, so I'm not going to reset. But I will walk back over. <sighs> and I will take my time to cross over to the other one. And since... Um, let's see. Win amp. Since I already know what song is supposed to be playing by Kevin... Kevin McLeod. This is called Easy Lemon, by the way. So attribution is in the video itself. It's by Kevin McLeod uh, or Kevin MacLeod because I can never remember how to pronounce his name and I mess up words all the time. I'm not good with the English, but this is Easy Lemon. It's by him, just in case. Copyrights. <laughs> uh, in that other video, I was, I was angry, man. I was stressed out. And we need to not be stressed out today. Today is a a good day. Lumber Games by Captain Hoover. So sit back, relax, grab some popcorn, grab a snack. If you're at school right now, awesome. Pay attention in class. Don't look at your phone whenever you're in class and the teacher's trying to teach you something. But if you're hanging out at home, if you're watching this as like an after-school special or something like that, then welcome. I hope you enjoy lumber as much as I enjoy lumber. I hope you have as much fun in Roblox as I do. Because I think it's a, a great way to show off your creativity to make things that you want other people to play. To show your story. Who you are and what you can come up with. Only limitation is your brain. Now, for a lot of developers and a lot of content creators out there, um, well, soon to be up and coming, if you're wanting to do the stuff that I do, the stuff that you see on Roblox, like you want to be the next person to create um, the next jailbreak, or whatever the case may be, a lot of people come up with excuses, okay? Excuses about school, excuses about time. Well, I just don't have enough time. It's not true. It's not true at all. Okay? You have enough time. You have enough time to watch 
YouTube. You have enough time to sneak in 30 minutes of programming here or there, or 30 minutes of learning how to program, 30 minutes of model building, creating, putting together, playing. And that is one of the biggest things, okay? If you make your play part of your work, if you find a job that it doesn't feel like a job anymore, you've won. You, you won the game of life. That's, that is a key, okay? The job that I have right now, right? I get to, oh, do we have it? Yay, this sounds still good. It's wonderful. This, this is an amazing job that I have. I'm an application development analyst, for those of you who are asking. I'm also an RPA developer. Oh, I need to open that up. I cheat my money, he he. Okay, whitelist me lag. The, the lag is real. Like it is super laggy right now. Like I should not be able to do this. What is going on? Skills. But. I think. I think we're going to see many changes coming along. But I'm, I'm super glad that that sound's still there. <laughs> I'm still talking about it. Still talking about the copyright. Stop it, code. Give me money. I only have 9.2 million on this main account. Was this guy flying? Hi, buddy. Hi, Shadow. What's going on, bud? Here. I'll let you go right on past. You can go and get yourself some wood, some palm wood. Now, there are a lot of people who argue, well, Code, you make door bridges. Isn't glitching just like exploits? No, it's not. Because the glitch is in the game. And, well, the difference is this is not external. Any Anybody can do what I'm doing right now. Like, you can go and do this without downloading any extra programs, without doing anything crazy to your computer. This is still possible for you. Even uh, even Xbox players can do exactly what I'm doing here. And it's just the way that you build it. It's, it's a... I guess you could call it an exploitation of the system, but it's not an exploit itself. It's a glitch. And Defaultio has, has said that he's not going to go and, and fix the door bridge stuff, which I hope he doesn't. But if it ever does happen, I mean, I wouldn't fault him for it. He just wants to make the game better. Mm. Same thing goes for, um, like, being able to fly up walls and stuff. Hold on, let me hit play. Like, if you were to start flying up the walls, you guys know how to do that? I think, I think I've shown everybody this. But if you take your axe, drop it on the ground with a little bit of lag delay, and then you grab it. Uh-oh, come on. All right, you grab it, and then you just throw it at your feet. You can walk up walls, right? So, I mean, it's a nice nice way to get around, but... Oh, did it, oh my gosh. Yeah, the lag in the public servers is real. Also, I saw that Discord went down for a little bit which is kind of crazy. Now, I think I was... I had been building... Oh, what's going on? Oh, okay. I see what's going on. Gotta go through the door. There we go. Blink. Uh-oh, I've sat down. Oh. Drop that down. We need to chop this up a little bit. Just a just a wee bit. But also, um, a fair amount of warning to everybody who is subscribed to my channel, to everybody who uh, is new to the channel. Don't come to my channel just for 
lumber. I know that it's the most popular and this is this video even though I'm not doing much is probably going to get more views than all of my other videos for the past week and that's understandable and it's a good game but I don't know why it's all of a sudden just become the only thing that people are watching and I'm really going to get away from it like I don't want it to be the only thing I do um rotate rotate oh come on rotate I need to put that right there. I think that's right. We'll see. We'll see if that's right. Did that door not go down? <laughs> Open door. There we go. Come on. Now we can see it. There it goes. Well, it did get planked, but it is stuck. Stuck a Rooney. All right, take this one, toss it in the back. There we go. Is is the music a little bit too loud? I feel I feel like it's just a just a tad oops, tad too much. No, no, no. I, I want to move this one, please. Seven seven percent. I got my background music on seven percent. So there we go. Nice and easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I guess the rest of the time I could just kind of clean up my base a little bit. We could uh, start moving. No, I guess we can't. We can't really move the signatures, can we? Oh gosh. Oh, I guess I could make a signature obby on the outside. That'd be, that'd be kind of fun. What are these doing in here? Ouch. So loud. Josh, Luke, Kiko. Unicorns, unicorns. I haven't talked to unicorns in quite some time. Destroy that. LPW. Your. Cardinal MJ. Mm, I can't read it. Lord Preston. Wait, what? Lord Preston. Hero Brian. No. Isn't Preston the guy that's in charge of? Um, of, uh, what's it? Mr. Coffee. Ooh. <laughs> Lumber King. Dude. Do you guys remember that episode? That was awesome. I guess it's just become nostalgic now. It's, uh, it's nice. But. Dig Dug. Hmm. Who's selling wood or gifts? I'm not. Ooh, sorry, caps. Mm. Is this the guy asking? All of my things are fan gifts. Can't sell. And the other thing is, I am in a public server, and I will not whitelist anyone for anything inside a public server. Only if I were in a private server with somebody, then I actually trusted that person. In which case, I would still get their name and telephone number and their address. So if they were to do anything, then I would be on them like snot on a doorknob. I, I don't know. Put, it, put your favorite analogy right there. <clears throat> I'm selling an axe. No, thank you. <laughs> Just thought that. I said no whitelisting anyone. But. <clears throat> Again, I do feel bad about the, the whole 
copyright strike video. It's not it's not about the copyright strike. It's about these companies. And I'm not going to talk about it. I'm, I'm going to woosaw and talk about other things. So, especially in a time where the whole thing with Ukraine and Russia that's going on, I'm, I'm sure I'm not going to talk about the politics and everything that's behind it, but just know that war is never good. It's not good. Invasions are not good. And I feel sorry for everyone that's going through something with that whole situation right now. But you just can't, like, the only thing you can do is know that there are people out in the world who don't have best interest at heart. There are people in this world who are very sad because they feel like they've been wronged or they feel like their their rights have been taken away and this isn't going to or for either side like i said i'm not getting into the politics of it because i believe politics need to stay out of human affairs which is kind of counterintuitive but <sighs> How can I explain that? I'm trying to think of how I would explain it to like a five-year-old. And if you're five years old and you're watching this channel, um, first off, you need to be 13 or older, but it doesn't mean that you can't stop watching because you're the one that signed the EULA, not me. And you can't sign the EULA, especially if you're five. I mean, you could, but you're not supposed to. <sighs> Which is another law that was put in place by a government, but that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's getting so hard not to get pulled into like all this daily drama and stuff. And it feels like the internet is just getting worse and worse and worse with everything that's going on. Out of every place that you could go on the internet to like hang out or have fun, it just feels like Roblox is starting to go down that path. You know? You can't even log in and just have fun with your friends anymore. It's got to be something political. It's got to be something agenda-driven. It just... It feels. It feels. And I feel it. I feel it on my channel. I feel it in my kids. Because... They're, they're getting very much their own minds and their own decisions about things. You know? And... They're seeing the same stuff that I am on the news and, and people's rights getting taken away and, and what other countries are doing. It's just with everything happening in the world, I hope my channel stays a place where you can come for a little bit of comfort to kind of sit, relax, forget about that stuff and not have to worry about whether or not there's a, a war going on. That doesn't mean that we should forget. We need to address it full on in the face. And the worst thing we could do is not talk about it, especially with our kids. We need to talk about it with our kids. Hi. Hi. Yes, it's the real me smiley face. Now, there's ways to talk about subjects with kids, and there's ways to be tactful about it, and then there's ways to not mention the way that it's supposed to be <laughs> at all. I truly, I truly think there's a time and a place for certain discussions, but when you're seeing it on the news, when you're hearing it in the classroom, when people are just talking about it everywhere. You can't escape it. It's part of the world. And people need to address it. So, might as well address it, address it on my channel as well. If you're scared for what's going on, it, it's okay to be scared. Um, it's not good to 
continue to be scared. If you're if you're not in a safe place, if you're not safe, then tell a teacher, tell tell a, a parent, tell an authority. Uh, where are you? I'm cleaning my base. Oh, thank you for playing my game the other day. You're welcome. And uh, I think for my Roblox Robux reveal, I think I'm going to do another lumber. Just because they get more attention and more people will see it. And that way... Excuse me, I burped. More people will have an opportunity to find the next code that I hide. And if you're still looking for it, you have about 24 hours before the video releases where I reveal its, its location. Okay? And like I said, anybody who's watching this video right now, you've seen where the Roblox card is. You've seen the code. It's hidden. I never said it's in a game. I never said it's in a video. I never said it was on my Twitter or my Instagram or any of that. If you follow me and you you watch the content, you know where I'm at every single day and you know kind of follow along with what's going on in the channel, you should be able to work out where the code is. Okay? And again, I don't know if it's been claimed because I can't I can't type it into Roblox and check whether or not it's been claimed. Which I also have an idea for, which will be kind of like a a YouTuber content creator, Twitch streamer verification system that you can take a Robux, Robux card, place it into my system. And I know that sounds a little shady, like, oh, I'm just gonna give you the Robux code. Well, you don't have to give it the Robux code. You can, you can give it something else. But what this will do, it'll give a place for somebody to come and type in a code verify who they are and like take down a record. So anybody who joins my game, my system, my thing would have a list of, hey, here's the prizes that you've signed up for. Here's the prizes that you've won. It, it would give you a chance to have people sign up for uh, drawings. Oh, did I just press E? Oh my gosh, I did. Oh no, I just opened it. Axe shop. X shop. Gold building with all the axes in it. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> By the way, I think these cleaning videos, these are the best. It's just relaxing. And it, it's starting to look a little bit nicer. I mean, I still got a lot of work ahead of me. How far along are we? We're 23 minutes in, so. What starts is kind of, hi buddy, slash you wave, hey, hi. Turns into a, like a clean cleaning video. Uh, I've got about, let's see, 10, 9, 8, 7, seven minutes left. If you promise not to exploit slash um, hack, wanna help me pick up access? <laughs> yes! All right, Mr. Internet. I'm giving you my trust. Watch this backfire and everything's gone. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Watch entire base wipe like that. It's my last video ever. No, no, yeah, I trust him. Didn't I just say I was never going to whitelist anybody? Ugh, I'm such a sucker. All right, so the the fire axes go here, and then beta axes. Oh, there you go. Yep, end time axes over there in the corner. Just kind of picking up and organizing. And you guys that have sent me your uh, your pictures of your bases, 
where you have all your axes lined up and just in beautiful order displaying like all the axes of the world of the lumber world Mwah, beautiful i love the organization skills i love the way you guys set up your your displays it's just absolutely beautiful i love them so i know a lot of people a lot of my viewers don't have twitter and you've expressed that deeply in your uh, comments section. Now, here's the thing. I have a community tab on my YouTube channel. So if you head over to uh, my channel, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, that's loud. Shh, quiet. So if you head over to my channel, cut, and over here on the community tab, you should be able to like interact and, and send messages, I think. Hmm. I think you're able to. Aren't you able to chat over here? Well, if not, you can send repost, posts and replies over here as well. And I will get those notifications just as much as Twitter. Oh, hi. Oh, thank you. Oh, were we both grabbing? Oh, it's going crazy. What's that Rookie X doing? Hold on. Stop, Rookie. Lag sucks. Yes, it does. The lag is, is a real thing inside good old lumber. Now what happened to the shadows right there? That's crazy. Oh, is that the stuff that's going on in the background? And is that fire axe standing on end? What? Yeah, that's my logic chips. My uh, solar panel detectors thingies. Solar timers. Whatever you want to call them. I think it's day timers. <laughs> Hi, old Al Fiend. Hi, buddy. Hi there. Now, real quick, just because I um, whitelisted Mr. Internet does not mean I would whitelist everyone. Dude, that is awesome. The lag. I used to have a, a chat emote that said, Heath Haskins, whatever my name was back then, I think it was ACC Linker, waves his hands in a slow motion over his head and screams, Lag. But it was all in text. <laughs> so, it was funny. Me and my wife, we've been watching uh, Fluffy's Food Time Adventures, something like that. But Gabriel Iglesias. He's a comedian, stand-up comedian. And him and his friends are funny. Dude, that is so awesome. <laughs> I love that it's just floating there. That is that is so cool. Oh no, oh no, it's falling out. Is somebody on the outside of my base? Hold on, I hear, I hear engines roaring. Oh, somebody's over there. Can I see what they're doing though? Alfiend. Hey buddy, what are you doing? Look at that gear. Nice. That's my little brother. I'm a big fan. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry you got here just at the end. But. Big brother, little brother. Hey, Mr. Internet. Hey, little brother. Wait, where'd little brother go? Little brother. Oh, no. Here, come over here. We can do the outro. Come over here and you can be in the outro. Smiley face. <clears throat> so, once again, the internet. Boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. The internet is a, a terrible, horrible, awful place, but it's one of the greatest places on earth. So, um, watch over your kids. Kids? Be aware of the internet and be mindful, okay? Because 
You have no clue who these guys are. I know that you saw me whitelist them, but if you whitelist somebody on the internet and you don't know who they are, you run the risk, okay? And there's nothing stopping people from just absolutely destroying your base, stealing everything, right? It makes a lot of people distrust everyone around them. <sighs> I've been burned before. I went to go purchase two fire axes at one time. Ended up sending like 50,000 to somebody and they stole my money, stole the stuff off my base and just ran. So be wary, be, be mindful. And in the comment section, you're going to tell me, yeah, my code, my base was destroyed. My base was stolen. There's nothing I can do about it. All right. And I'm, I'm sorry it happened to you. There's nothing I can do. So, uh, kind of ended on a sad note, didn't it? If it has happened to you, I hope you rebuild. Um, instead of sitting around and waiting for the base restore, rebuild, start from scratch. Think of it like a rebirth and just start again. All right, that's the best thing you can do. And I mean, how far did you get the first time? Try and beat that this time. So, love you guys very much. I hope your, your day goes great. I hope you have a wonderful day all the way through Thursday straight into Friday. We got one more day and then it's the weekend. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out like a YouTuber does at the end of his videos, but it's your choice if you want to go for it. If not, that's cool too. I'm running out of breath. It's your choice. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Is that a little bit better than a rant video? Just a second. Outro.